The Franco-German War of 978 to 980, also known as the War of the Three Henrys, unfolded during a turbulent period in European history. The conflict was characterized by a power struggle involving Holy Roman Emperor Otto II, King Lothair of France, and Duke Hugh Capet. Tensions escalated as each sought to assert dominance in the shifting political landscape of the late 10th century. In the course of the war, Holy Roman Emperor Otto II laid siege to Paris, the heart of the Carolingian kingdom. The siege represented a strategic move to assert imperial authority and expand Otto's influence over the Frankish territories. Paris, a significant political and cultural center, became a focal point in this high-stakes conflict. The war was marked by intricate political intrigues and shifting alliances. Otto II sought support from local magnates and nobles, while King Lothair, facing internal challenges within the Frankish kingdom, navigated a delicate diplomatic dance to secure allies. Duke Hugh Capet, a key player in the conflict, also wielded influence as he aimed to protect his domain and advance his own ambitions. The war earned its moniker, the War of the Three Henrys, due to the involvement of three prominent figures named Henry. Henry II, the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry, the son of King Lothair, and Henry, Duke of Bavaria, each played crucial roles in shaping the course of the conflict. Their interactions and allegiances added layers of complexity to the ongoing struggle. Despite the initial success of the Siege of Paris, circumstances took a turn for the Holy Roman Emperor. Faced with logistical challenges, dwindling resources, and likely influenced by shifting political dynamics, Otto II made the strategic decision to lift the siege and withdraw from Paris. This move had significant implications for the trajectory of the war. The withdrawal from Paris marked a shift in the dynamics of the conflict. Diplomatic negotiations and strategic realignments ensued as the various parties sought advantageous positions. The war's narrative became increasingly nuanced, with alliances forming and dissolving based on the ever-changing political landscape. Otto II's decision to lift the siege and withdraw from Paris was likely influenced by a combination of strategic considerations. Logistical challenges, the need to address internal affairs within the Holy Roman Empire, and perhaps a reassessment of the overall geopolitical situation all played a role in shaping this pivotal moment. The lifting of the siege and Otto II's withdrawal had a profound impact on the political landscape of the region. It reshaped the power dynamics between the Holy Roman Empire and the Kingdom of France, influencing subsequent alliances, conflicts, and territorial boundaries in the years to come. The Franco-German War of 978-980 to had lasting historical ramifications. It marked a chapter in the ongoing struggle for dominance and territorial control in medieval Europe. The events surrounding the Siege of Paris and its aftermath contributed to the evolving narrative of European power dynamics during this formative period. The Franco-German War, with its complex web of alliances, political intrigues, and strategic maneuvers, left an enduring legacy in the history of medieval Europe. The lifting of the Siege of Paris and Otto II's withdrawal became emblematic of the fluid and dynamic nature of power struggles in an era where political fortunes could swiftly change. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of the Battle of Gogamila, Alexander's Triumph. Thanks for watching.